Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com. Now, in today's episode, I wanted to cover some news about BDO in the UK. Um, some news has come out that they, the BDO partners in the UK are earning more than Big Four Accounting Firm partners. And they're not earning more than all Big Four Accounting Firm, Big Four Accounting Firm partners, but they are earning more than KPMG and Ernst & Young. Reportedly, BDO partners are making, and this is according to City AM, which is a website in the UK. And according to them, partners at BDO are slated to earn £760,000 per partner. And, and while EY partners made 749000 and KPMG partners received on average 572000 and I'll have to check that against our website, but what this is alleging is that the BDO partners are making more now than EY partners and KPMG partners. And I think this makes sense based on um, what we've been reporting with KPMG, how they're requiring their partners to put up more money. Um, but also EY tends to employ more people across the globe. And this also says that Staff bonuses totaled 19 million pounds, which is almost 200% increase of like total pool bonus, total bonus pool over the year prior. And it's pretty good news for anybody working at BDO. And then BDO also said that they're going to try and hire about 300 more people in the UK as well. And I think this is pretty big news because you now have a non-big four accounting firm making more money, or at least the partners are making more money than a, than two big four accounting firms. And I think this just speaks to the over-regulation in the UK and the way that the big four accounting firms are run in the UK and all the things that they're facing in Europe. And these mid-tier accounting firms have the ability to jump above them, win more work, be more profitable, especially with KPMG, with all the headline risk with KPMG, BDO has the opportunity to really jump ahead of them, not globally, but in the UK. And I think uh, other firms could also do this too. At least KPMG, I don't know about Ernst & Young. Like I think BDO is in a good position here. Um, and I think it's KPMG is facing the issues because of regulation. But another interesting thing, to note is that that BDO has their own issues. The FRC is looking into BDO as well over their audit of a construction company, similar to what's happening to KPMG. And at the end of the day, it's important to remember that these are accounting firms. They're all run pretty much the same. It's just that BDO has less headline risk than KPMG does. So I think they're poised to, to win more work uh, going forward that KPMG might have won in the past. And that BDO has won a lot of audit clients, and that's why they won all this additional revenue. So to the extent that BDO wants to pick up more audit work, then they can. But they are also they're also need to hire more people, as they said, uh, before they can win more audit work. Because if you win more audit work with tens of millions more, then you also need to staff those projects. So there's a lot of work ahead of them uh, to keep this pace up. Uh, but But there's a lot of potential here and, and, and any regulation around the world against the big four accounting firms uh, leaves the door open for these smaller accounting firms until the regulators catch up to them as well. But I think but I think regulators and investors around the world do want more competition for the big four accounting firms, just so they could trust financials more, but also from a pricing perspective, there's you know more to be done. And I think it's also good for employees as far as compensation, as you see here, partners are making more at BDO now. So that has the potential to to happen as big four accounting firms face more competition. But this is very interesting news. I thought it was interesting for people because we've been speaking about a lot of the controversy that's going on in the UK, and this is a net positive coming out of it for people that don't necessarily want to work at KPMG or ENY. You know, you don't have to only work at the big four. You can work at one of these other firms and you can potentially make more as well. So that's the update for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates and check out the show notes for useful links. Thanks for watching.